we have uh, developed or actually rejuvenated an older program that we had to recognize the first responders and that would be the police, fire and paramedics and uh, we are going to uh, recognize them three times a year and this program is a little different in that it would not just see first responders or the frontline workers we're also going to recognize the work of the communications people. They're very, very important. What they do within the first three or four minutes of receiving a call is very important. And uh, they can provide a great deal of assistance to the people who are calling. In addition to that, the, each, of the police or each of the services uh, provide various programs, uh, public awareness and safety programs and we are going to recognize those as well. They will be included and uh, where a program has proven to be very, very successful. In addition to that, uh, the, um, each of the services can also select uh, an individual who has made a contribution to the community. So it's all very encompassing and uh, we're very pleased to uh, have this program come out on uh, March the 18th. Part of the um, uh, motivation behind this was to let, the, let these folks know that the community is appreciate what they do because they do a lot on a day-to-day -day basis that we really don't see. And uh, the other part of that is to make sure that uh, the community and uh, Rotary uh, provide the proper recognition for that, uh, for that work. And the Rotary Club is offering $100 to each of these services, and the individual will then select a charity of their choice, and we will make a donation in their name on their behalf. And uh, we're, very, we're very, very pleased with that.